welcome to my channel. My name is Lisa, and today I'm here working on my Junk Journal July, the day six. I'm actually doing it on the sixth, so I'll see if I can get it posted on the sixth. <laughs> um, so I actually get caught up here instead of how I was behind. Um, so what? I, so what I'm gonna work on today is I'm gonna make a belly band. I don't think it's a belly bang. Um, so we're gonna go with belly band. And um, I also am gonna try to do it a little abstract. And then at the end of the video, you're gonna see how I make it unexpected. So you're gonna have to stay tuned for the unexpected part. Um, but for now, we're gonna work on the belly band and um, making it an abstract belly band. So um, I'm uh, working on my journal, if you haven't seen the other ones um, that I'm doing. Uh, it's a uh, uh, me journal, it's all about me. Um, so I've got a few videos out there already for one through five. Um, this was uh, four and five. So this is going to be day six. Um, so I've already attached um, this music uh, belly band sheet here that um, can fit in there. And um, I'm going to create the actual belly band on this and then attach it um, onto here. Um, I decided to do it separately. Um, for a reason you'll see later in the video. Um, I also did a little bit of stamping on the background, um, just a light, because this brown was, um, show the other side here. This brown was, I mean, it has a little bit of a texture, but it's kind of plain, so I threw on a just a all over background, wordy kind of stamp, uh, just to um, give it a little uh, texture almost. So, okay. All right, so we're gonna, get this out of the way a little more fully and get the prompts out of the way all right so i got my glue book my glue stick and my art glitter glue i think i might use my art glitter glue these aren't what the heck is that <laughs> stuck to my finger um i have already uh, taken a couple uh scrapbook pages um cut them into random shapes i did throw some of the um stamp on some of these also inked around the edges just all kind of random so okay so I was thinking I was just gonna uh, put these maybe do like this for the background and then maybe throw some of this kind of stuff like just randomly on here something like that I don't know if that's really considered abstract or random or what you want to call it, but something like that. And we'll just start, we'll just start gluing stuff down. Okay. All right. We're just going to glue on a whimsy. All right. So this big one, I think I'm going to use the glue stick because it's kind of big. Oh, my wrist is sore today. I decided to flip over my mattress yesterday by myself like an idiot and I think I kind of strained my wrist doing it so it's a bit sore today so but that's not gonna stop the crafting might have to take some aspirin later though <laughs> okay all right, okay, well there's that. So let's put that. All right, so I think I'm just gonna throw some glue on here. Okay, we're gonna, um, I'm also kind of leaning, leaning it to one side here because of the uh, way I'm gonna attach it to the um, music band that I have in there already so you'll see that later okay put that on there okay I guess I probably could have added layers to this too as an option 
and I definitely am layering this up. But I think if you really get down to it, some of the ones that I do, um, you could probably use about 17 props in there. So, just focus on a couple. Maybe I should build up from the bottom a little bit here, too. Okay. glue to this one. Just randomly stick it there. Okay. And I think I'm gonna add this here. through a little bit. Go throw that in there. Whoops. Glue gone wild. Okay. Okay. All right, should I throw a few labels on there? Maybe a couple? Kind of a random thought to do this, so I'm not sure if I will or not. Ooh, I think I want this. I definitely want that, and you will see why in a bit. was called way too much glue, Lisa. <laughs> way too much glue. Lipstick powder rouge. Why not? It's random, abstract. Cut the corners off. And we're going to ink this. glue for this. I'm glad I decided to put little labels. I think it's going to add something to it. thought about doing it I was just gonna do um, these shapes on there and then it just didn't look abstract enough so that's why I cut some of them down and then I found this paper laying around with the um, little bit of uh, title on it so it kind of was a, a work in progress I guess you could say it wasn't all just Definitely was not all pre-planned out. Kind of like these little words, little labels. Okay, maybe I'll put that in there. And then I'm gonna go and do my next step. Cause I can always add a few more labels after I glue it down. Because I want to get to the unexpected part. <laughs> okay, and I was going to put this right up here. I 
Okay. All right, so we're going to... Okay. Now. All right, so I'm going to glue it here. And that worked out, so we're good there. All right, I'm going to do both a little bit of glue and then throw a little bit of this on there just for good measure. Whoops. I want this to stick for sure. and glued to the second page, which I have not. Okay, now, the next thing I was gonna do was put a, tab on here, like so. Well, let me get this out of the way. And this is not the unexpected part. <laughs> okay, so, um, I got couple tiny little brads. I've got this uh, square one, which kind of reminds me of the squares I have. And then I've got this cream one. Brings out the white in there. And then I've just got the regular brass. I think I might, I think I might go with the, these because of the brown page. Okay. Now I just want to put them on the top layer here. So... We're just going to put them right there. <laughs> Those lines are making me, the lines are making me crooked here. Okay, let's see if I can get that in here. All right, square. Push it down, there we go, and all right. Crush my wrist to do that, so okay. You're a tad bit on the crooked side. I guess it is abstract, right? Okay, we're leaving it. It's abstract. <laughs> all right, move these out of the way before I lose them all. Okay. All right, so I'm going to glue it to the back of the page, and I'm only going to glue it to the brads on the front. Come on. Get back there. All right, a little further. Okay. Okay. So that little tab is now covered over the finger where we're pointing to, which is fine. Okay. All right. So there is my belly band. All right, and then here comes the unexpected. So we have a belly band, we have a den in there, and then we have um, this little thing that kind of holds it in place because 
dun, dun, dun. Some creepy people. <laughs> Quite unexpected. Um, we got this thing, looking at this thing with the donkey head. Um, we got this lovely uh, flying witch on her broom with the fun moon. And um, she's heading toward the wheel coming out of the cloud. So, kind of unexpected. Wouldn't know that's back there. Put that in there. Got a nice little card. Put a little belly band. Put your little item in there. Obviously, this is the wrong size. Trying to find my box of cards here. Which I seem to have... Ah, we use one of my alphabet ones. So we got that in there. Belly band. Beautiful. Probably should have used a harder piece of cardboard for that. And then you go, oh, quite unexpected. Yeah, I like it. So the only thing I would change would I probably would have used a harder, and I might go ahead and do something with that in a bit. Figure out what to do with that. Maybe add something to it, but for now, it's going to be like that. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Well, that is day six in the books of the journals. So we have a belly band or a belly bank, as we like to call it. Uh, we have, I'm going to call it abstract. It's kind of weird. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say it's layers because I really didn't intend it to be layers, but it could have been layers. Um, and I'm going to go with unexpected because I've never seen a flip open belly band with weird people. So I might do this uh, process in the future with a flip open belly band um, to be able to do some maybe hidden journaling, um, have some, you know, a personal uh, message, some sort of, you know, fun quote. Um, but to be truly unexpected, um, I, I thought it would good to have some really kind of unexpected little character so that's my story and I am sticking to it so all right well that was fun um there we go all right well that is going to be it for today um hopefully you enjoyed that video and the unexpected twist at the end that I had um if you want to see the rest of Junk Journal July since I've got day 7 through 31 it's still going to be processed uh, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Uh, click the thumbs up like button if you like this video and want to see more. And as usual, thanks so much and have a wonderful and creative day. Bye now.